Hey there, everybody. What's up? Schmodar, that's what's up. So, I haven't watched Schmodar matches in quite some time. Um, I got no excuse for it this time. So, this is just... This is just me watching a, uh, a Schmodar match that I've been avoiding for a while. This time, it's the Inner Geekdom title match between Kevin Smith and Chandu Dondapani. Unfortunately, um, because... This thing was a pay-per-view event weeks ago, and uh, they already talked about it on, on SEN Live. I already know who wins, unfortunately. My boy Smets couldn't pull a victory, but as I always say, it's not about the the who wins and who loses. It's about how you play the game. Now, uh, according to uh, the timestamps on YouTube, this thing is about two hours long, so that's part of the reason why I've been avoiding this match, because it's been hard to schedule two hours. To just sit down and watch it. Regardless, I'm going to watch it right now. I'm going to participate in the uh, match itself. I'm going to turn on the AC because it's getting hot in here. And uh, let's uh, see how uh, the despicable Chandru beat my boy Smith. Here we go. So, Andrew, I'll give you Bateman one-on-one -on, -one on an undercard of a very, very big match that I have just signed. One of the biggest cards in movie trivia schmodown history, Andrew Guy versus Ben the Boss Bateman. It would be incredible to get Andrew Guy's best game against Ben Bateman's best game in an Action Army sequel. Chris Jericho takes on Kevin Smith. Chris Jericho wants to play. The Ayatollah of rock and roller. I'm not messing around. Look out, movie trivia, schmo down. But I can compete. Like, I, I love that shit. I'm ready to schmo down. Throw down with the schmo down. Who will win? Join us. Subscribe now. YouTube.com slash the schmo down. Movie time! Christian, we've watched a lot of movies, we've had a lot of we fun, are, and now yeah. it is the main event, the Inner Geekdom Championship. Five rounds of cinematic nerdificent combat is upon us. I am excited for it, and how could you not get excited watching the Kevin Smith and Jericho promo, knowing that that is right down the pike. Here, look, look, one of the things to make an announcement here for everybody is that it's going to jump one day. It was originally supposed to be on August 27th. It is going to be on August 28th. August 28th. Chris Jericho and Kevin Smith is at August 28th. And don't forget about Guy versus Bateman to the double main event. Guy and Bateman, number one contender. The winner will play the winner of Merle and Irwin and Jericho versus Smith. I mean, come on. This is, what this I have. is going to be I know phenomenal. Terrible, I cannot wait to see this as a fan in general. But you talk about being a fan. This next match coming up here, this main event. I mean, are you kidding me? This is going to be... Uh, Kevin Smets and Chandru, and as we mentioned with both Smets and Chandru, they don't like each other. They have no. been, I mean, Chandru pretends that he I does, but like you can Chandru. tell. Chandru is not, not a big fan uh, of Smets. Says, says that he's overrated, sings songs about him, dances about him, does all that stuff, and Smets has had enough of it. Kaiser's had enough of it. Winston's had enough of it. Winston and Kaiser were roasting each other on backstage the other day. It's been a full on war in who is going to be the top dog in the inner geekdom division. Kevin Smets is 6-1 and one with five knockouts. One of the most incredible performances. And he did that all in his rookie year. He hasn't played since Spectacular. He's been known for his unique studying habits. He's, he's the Schmodown equivalent of a Mike Tyson or a Goldberg in wrestling. You know, he's, he's got that allure to him. Chandru has been coming on, but he started out, and it's like, oh, yeah, he's, he can be okay. And then you start to see what he does, and you see his energy for it, and you see his cockiness. His cockiness, when people are saying, oh, he's a villain, he very well might be. But his cockiness has helped him tremendously. It has given him confidence to do exactly what he's done in his last couple of performances. It has been his Captain America shield, Christian. I mean, look, Kevin and Chandra, those sound like they should be schoolyard chum names. You take Smets, Don Dapani, they should be on the same dodgeball team in gym class. But then when you give me the Smasher 
and the chosen that means there's going to be a tete a tete Smash for her. the ages and, and the maybe chosen. as you alluded to it does come down to not who knows more about inner geekdom categories it's these guys all know virtually any question we this could possibly ask it might come down to who can get inside their opponent's head a little more. I think that Kevin might be inside Don Dapani a little bit, and I think that Don Dapani might be inside Smets in between the ears a little bit. So who's going to get deeper into that hypothalamus region? I was pre-med. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. It's it's like uh, it really depends on the fight, right? And, and it's especially it is this speed round that it's going to come down to because neither one of them has. Well, Changer's never been in a five round fight, and Smets has been in one. But Smets was in a speed round with a buzzer. So maybe he doesn't know. Is this going to benefit him or is this going to hurt him? Is this going to serve Chandru better? We don't know. We're not sure. But we do know that Swag is counting on this tremendously as far as the points go. Because now this is a four round. This is a four point, four point battle if there's no knockout. It's five. If there's a knockout in it now, whether or not Chandru can knock out Kevin Smets is another scenario, but anything can happen. Who the hell would have thought Kevin Smets was going to knock out Mike Kalinowski to take the title back in December? So anything can happen in the inner geekdom division, Mark. I am pretty, pretty excited to see it because the great nerd chronic, as yeah. always, has put together an epic promo. Here it is. It's Jeff Kiss. Right. Every second since April, for 10 months, I have been thinking about coming back here to show you that you made a mistake. And now I'm gonna do what I came here to do, which is beat every single person from the bottom up. When I'm done, when all of the bodies are down and I'm standing in the ashes, then Harloff, you'll remember my name and I'll take that title. And you'll remember Kevin Smets, the one you sent away, who came back and took everything. My inner geekdom pick for the one to watch right now yeah. is Kevin Smets. Christian Harloff should thank me and thank Kevin Smets for coming on this show. We probably got 50,000 new subscribers the minute we walked out here. Dwallin, give me Kalinowski. Wow! Why don't we get somebody out there who can give this kid a challenge? Kalinowski beats Smets! Kalinowski beats Smets! I flubbed the name. Get your dancing shoes out, because that asterisk's coming back to kick your ass. Don't tell Peter this, don't tell Peter that. Well, don't tell Peter I just became the IG Championship! Yeah! The fact that you came in here and made such a dominant debut here, I think that it's nothing to hang your head about. Yeah. We're actually really excited to see what you can do if you want to keep coming back. Thanks, Nasher. Boo! Uh, I can't wait to play you again. I'm so excited to play you. It's just... You're easily the best IG player in the division right now. And what will that make me when I take that championship away from you? And your winner, Chandra the Chosen! If I want to play in the bigger leagues, like to be in the top five, I need to be even better than what I played today, so. You and Brandon, there's a little bit of a rivalry there because he's beaten you before. Buzz droids. Yeah, he did. And your winner, by way of technical knockout, Chandru, the chosen Don Dapani. You got lucky that the challenge went your way. You got lucky that I didn't have a manager that day. But now, I have the best manager in the league and a whole faction behind me. Whoa, yeah. what? Nice. And Nissan. From on top of the standings. <laughs> if you don't believe that Chandru is ready for this, then I got some oceanfront property to sell you in Kansas. That's all I got to say. 24 hours. That's all you got left, Chandru. And then nobody's talking about you anymore. When the Smasher puts you to sleep, we're going to ride off into the sunset like we always do with the belts on our shoulders. This guy smiles and he dances, but he is not a good guy. This guy is a villain. No, he is not. I know who you really are. You're a wolf in sheep's clothing, and I'm gonna expose you. But make sure you don't hurt your cutesy little foot when it hits my belt that I'm gonna take from you. Your run's up, man. Your long path to the title, beating Hannah, losing to me, it's gonna all end this Friday. There's no Cinderella story for you. Swag's getting sent home, count on that. I want you so angry. I want you at your absolute hulkiest so that when we do win, 
There's no argument about this. I don't know if you saw what happened to the last oh. guy they made a big deal out of. He got knocked out and Smasher took his belt. The title is mine. The belt you so dearly put in the background of every live stream you go on will be mine. It's not going to be a walk in the park. It's going to be one of those challenges. But the thing is, the Smasher's going to come out on top. Swakanda forever! Swakanda forever! Listen, I'm done with this interview. I just got one last thing to say to you. Smash. Well, smash! Oh, I hate this kid so much. Molly! I'm, I mean, you know, that's yeah. pretty great stuff. How do you not get hyped up for that one? The championship match, five rounds for the Inner Geekdom Championship. Swag versus the Dungeon. You can say what you want about the Dungeon. You can say they're having kind of a struggle this year overall, but you know how much Kaiser loves the championship. He loves managing the champion. He loves training the champion. He won two championships last year, the singles and the Inner Geekdom, and he still got that Inner Geekdom trying to hold on to it today so the dungeon and swag they've been going at it they've been roasting each other it has been a battle on every program they've been on and i'm sure it's going to be the same here we bring on the manager of now tied for second place team swag winston marshall swag once wonder. again only two willigers it's commissioner harloff and detective <laughs> jr uh oh and the manager of the dungeon well Kaiser. this is a big Big match. Kaiser, we start with you here. The champ has not been in the battlefield since December. Some people say it could be ring rust. How is the Smasher doing? Well, well, the Smasher's just fine. The Smasher's always fine. Okay? You got to understand something. I realize that swag is popular with a certain subset of the Schmodown community. You know, the kind of people who leave their house with a white sock on their left foot and a brown sock on their right foot. A dicky do, basically. You see what I mean? A dicky do, basically. That's who Winston appeals to. Now, the fans out there that have some class, the fans out there that have some honor, well, they'll be pulling for the dungeon today. And I don't think Kevin Smets wants to let his dungeon heads down. You see, we all know something. We all know something. When Kevin Smets gets angry, he don't miss a stinking question. So where does that leave you, Chandrew, the chosen chump? It means you've basically signed your death certificate. So hopefully, RB3 will come to your funeral, maybe say something nice about you. Drip, drip to that. One last thing. Now you got me thinking. Drip, drip. Drip, drip. You know, I'm not intimidated by a guy who stole his slogan from a diaper ad. But it actually kind of adds up because everybody in that faction's a crybaby, including Lon. Well, I'm homeless. Oh, but woo is me. <laughs> Why don't you get over yourselves and get some class? All right. <laughs> uh, impressive camera tricks from Kaiser. And uh, Winston, uh, because you scared the dog, you're going to have to answer my question. Now, look, you say you want about Kaiser, okay? But when it comes to you managing Chandru versus Kevin the Smasher Smets, Smets has loads of live combat experience in the realm of the Schmodown, Chandra just simply can't match that. So how is he going to stand up for five rounds in front of an international audience? Holy gee willikers. I didn't know you were going to let Clayface talk that long. My goodness. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Here over at Swag, we get trained by the best. If you didn't know, Batman is the best. He wins everything. He, it doesn't matter who he's up against, even Superman. All you have to do is say Martha, and that's it. All of a sudden, everything shuts down. So here's the thing. I'm not worried about, I guess, the Smasher. Is that Sullivan Grundy? I'm not worried about that at all, because Batman's going to do what he does best, and that's win. Oh, and by the way, dungeons, do you understand that we rescue people from dungeons all the time? You know what I'm really uh, looking forward to is that when this is over, you stay in your basement for the rest of the season. He's wearing the wrong Robin now, listen shirt. Listen here, by uh, the way. Jerry Seinfraud. You're about one joke That's away. Jason you're Tom one Tom. joke away from ringing a bell and wearing a yeah. Santa costume. And I'm just giving you that Tim advice because you actually have talent. I don't want to see you go down the wrong road. 
Hey, well, first of all, I'll have abs before you do, Clayface, so don't worry about that. I'm working hard. And the other thing is, did you steal that painting from within that casino? Because I'll come up there and stop you. All right, look, let me let me ask you. I know I know you you both like to mess with each other. I I understand it. Um Winston, if I can get Winston for a second, maybe I can't. But uh, but Winston, I got to ask you about swag. What, what, what do you want? About the swag. <laughs> I'm doing character work. Jesus. I, Jesus it, it, <laughs> Chandru. Give me give me Ch what what is going on here with Chandru? How is he feeling? Cuz I know he's you guys have been messing with Kaiser. I know you've been messing with Smets, but is he really is he prepared? Is there any intimidation going into it or he he's legit. He he knows he can beat Smets. Christian, can I ask you a question? Sure. What is it that I said to you when you asked me who I was putting in the Star Wars tournament? You you told me Ace. You Ace. said he's and what and you asked me what? I said I said are you sure? And what did I say? You said, I'm sure he's going to win it. And so let that be the answer to what's going on here. Yes, Chandru is ready. Fair enough. All business, all of a sudden. I like it. And Kaiser, how do you feel <laughs> how do you feel about Smets? And like I said, he's been out of the ring for a little bit. Is he ready? Yeah, I think the Smasher's ready. He's ready to defend that title. He's been thinking about this since draft day back in January. He's been wanting to defend this title. He was supposed to defend it in January. He's supposed to defend it in February. You know, this kid has been ready since the season started. Now he gets to finally prove something. And what's going to happen is this. When Chandru chokes at the end of this match, change your name to gag. Okay, Winston? That's probably going to be more appropriate. All right. Wow, well, you're really dirty. You really must live in a dungeon. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to drop out both Kaiser and Winston. And, Mark, we are very, very close here as we get to. Oh, better. thank goodness. Christian, I really don't think that's character work. I, I think Winston has turned over a new leaf, and uh, I don't know who lives the closest to him, but we should send a runner to go check on that poor guy. Yeah, he, he's doing it to piss off Kaiser, and I think that he did it. Uh, all right, Mark, I'm ready. You? Oh, five rounds, folks. Buckle your seatbelts, put up your table trays, because it's about to get hot. Christian, when this baby hits 88 miles an hour, you're going to see some serious, I can't Something. say that, have at it, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's time, time for the movie, movie trivia showdown. Five Ever. rounds for oh. the Inner Geekdom, Geekdom Championship of, of the World. world. Introducing first, The Challenger. With a record of four wins, two defeats, and three knockouts. Representing Swag. He is Chandra, the chosen dad of party. Ooh. There he is, the challenger doing exactly what we thought he would be doing. He's dancing up in a storm. I don't know what he's doing. Like this that is that looks like something out of uh eyes wide shut. So there he is, Chandru the Chosen, the Challenger. Chandra, look, let me tell you, man, I, I've seen you. I've been watching what you're doing this week, watching your interviews, and uh, I know how determined you are. How much do you – tell me the honest opinion here. What is your thoughts on Kevin Smets? Okay, honest opinion. Right. Um, he is a really good player who's capitalized on every chance he's gotten. Like, God knows he's gotten a lot of chances. And uh, yeah, he, he puts a lot of effort and uh, into all his preparation. So this is going to be a great fight. I'm excited. Uh, between Winston and Chandra, I feel like I was just invited to one of Clay Shaw's early 60s <laughs> parties. Uh, Chandra, let me ask you about the experience factor. Because yeah, you, you've, you love these movies. You have since you were little. And you study them. You know all the answers to virtually every question you could be asked. But there is that live experience element. Is there any hesitation in you that, hey, I'm taking on a guy who has run these boards a little bit more than I have? Yeah, he's definitely played more matches than I have. Like when it comes to regulation, IG, he has like one more uh, match experience than me. But and he's also like played a lot of exhibition matches too. So it, that definitely comes into the picture. But with the new speed round, like Christian said earlier, uh, the the 
the play f- playing field has been leveled as much as possible. The, the championship advantage of like having that five round experience is kind of gone. So I'm I'm uh, I'm excited. So we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, you know, real quick before I bring in the champ here, I have to ask you, you know, you said on the preview special, you sang a song and you danced to it. You said that Kevin Smets is overrated. Do you believe that? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't say anything that I don't believe in. It's uh, that's just not my style. Uh, like, like, I don't I don't say I don't I don't, I don't act like Kevin Smets and uh, say that he doesn't like me because I know he be, I know he doesn't believe that he really likes me. It's just that uh he just likes to pretend that he doesn't like me because that's that way that makes life easier for him but yeah overrated so the thing is um if kevin smets is touted as just this player who's had who's play who's been playing well he wouldn't be overrated but like he's touted as this god like creature that can never do any wrong when he's missed like what 12 questions that and most of those answers you cannot just read from study from a wikipedia page uh, so uh, I'd have to go in with the mentality that he is not as good as he thinks he is, or like anyone who thinks he, anyone uh, thinks he is, because he can't live up to the legend. Even Kevin Smith can't live up to the legend of the Smasher. All right. Well, there it is. Honest and raw thoughts. The challenger, Chandru the Chosen. All right. Good luck to you, Chandru. Going to put you in the waiting room here. And his opponent. <laughs> Representing the dungeon with a record of six wins, one defeat, and five knockouts. He is the 2019 Inner Geekdom Player of the Year, 2019 Rookie of the Year, and the reigning. Undisputed movie trivia showdown in a kingdom champion of the Smasher Kevin Smith. The champion is here, Kevin Smith. Kevin, look, brother, you have not been in the Schmodown Arena since Spectacular. You're supposed to, in January, you're supposed to uh, face Chandru in April, and world happened. So how have you been preparing? Have you been studying? Have you been keeping up? Like, uh, how do you feel kind of with this being the first uh, big title match of your career? You know, uh, I've been looking forward to this. Since the morning of December 8th, I wanted to defend the title. Uh, we came in. We said we wanted to be fighting champions. Uh, I pitched to, uh, I pitched to Kaiser. I wanted to defend it once a month. Like, how great would that be? You know, then even in the tournament, I was like, I texted you, Christian. I said, can I be in the tournament? And you're like, you're a champion. You can't do it. So, uh, listen, man, I've been looking forward to it. You know, I got a couple drills in uh, with some legends when I did the champion of champions match. So if I'm going to mix it up with anybody doing it with the likes of Roka and Dan Merle and, you know, the, the Star Wars champion of the world, too, uh, you know, that was the way to go. But uh, as far as defending the title, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Apparently, if you want to hear about my study, you could just ask, tw- you could just ask Twinkle Toes because he keeps talking about it. So. All right, Kevin, I see that hoodie. I hope you use the baby carrots discount code when you purchase it at our merch store. I'm going to ask you a serious question, and it relates to what I was watching earlier today. That was the PGA Championship. It was golf, and you see all these golfers come in, and they have no family or life really encumbering them, and they just focus on golf. And then what do you know? They get more professional opportunities, more personal opportunities, and golf takes a sidestep. You certainly have had an incredible life in the last year, a lot of great opportunities, both personally and professionally. But now that you're here in a five-round championship match, is there any concern that maybe some of that life took away from your ability to study and prepare for this match and this opponent? Uh, That's always a concern, um, but it wasn't with me. Uh, She's been wonderful. She's been uh, uh, with there uh, by my side, helping me train, uh, understanding the amount of it takes, especially in these last like three weeks. Uh, And, you know, I can break the news here. I actually uh, followed the route of Rocky and I married her last weekend because I wanted to have her be my wife before our child comes. And uh, people could say distractions, but actually it cleared my head. It was everything that I needed. We did it out in the water in San Diego with my close friends and family. Um, And 
uh, going into this week, it was exactly what I need. I love her. She's been my tag team partner, and if she, she's a dungeon head through and through. And uh, yeah, so as far as distractions goes, I think if anything, she helps clear my head. She's always kind of calmed me down. Dosh has been amazing for me. And uh, I, I feel as prepped as I've ever been for any match, and that's today. Well, hey, well, you hear that was that's great news. Not congratulations, yeah. it's great news. But I ask you, Champ, real quick, uh, yeah. you know, before we start this matchup, Chandra, you, you just heard him and what he's been saying and what he has been saying on these shows to your face, you know, behind your back, all this stuff. Uh, you know, you've been on record saying you're not a fan of Chandra, and it, does that stay true today? And and will that change after this match? I'm a fan. I'm not a fan of Chandra. I respect Chandra. I know he's very dangerous. He's you know, he's followed a path similar to mine um, as far as, you know, taking a couple lumps and then getting back into it and getting better and better. And uh, so I've been prepping for a monster. I've been prepping basically to almost face myself. So uh, I, I respect him. He doesn't show any respect for me. That's fine. I don't need it. I have the belt to prove it. So, um, you know, I, I know I came into this league uh, frowny face and, you know, uh, talking a lot of smack and, and people can talk about how I conducted myself. But, you know, uh, when uh, Don't Tell Peter happened and everything, a collision, that kind of humbled me a little bit and that, in order for me to get where I needed to be, which was to win the title at Spectacular, I had to eat a little humble pie and realize that maybe that wasn't the exact way I wanted to go about things. And uh, we see where that led to me. So maybe Chander one day will kind of realize uh, the things he does, but I understand he has a chip on his shoulder. It's very similar to me. So I don't discount him. I respect him. I don't like him. All right, fair enough. Well, the champion has been added and so is Chandru. The challenger is in doing his dance that we expected to see and Mark, the championship is about to begin. Please read the rules for round number one. The rules of round number one. This is inner geekdom, gentlemen. So round number one is going to feel like your typical run-of-the-mill inner geekdom match. Ten questions will be asked to the field. Each question from a different corner of inner geekdom knowledge. Your first, your last, and every question in between is worth one point. There's no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing, at least not in round number one. Wink, wink. As soon as we ask the question, you have 15 seconds to write down your best attempt at an answer with whatever utensil you prefer on whatever writing tablet you have handy. Once we ask you by name to reveal your attempt at an answer, please show what you wrote to your camera at the same time you verbalize your answer into the microphone. I'll remind each competitor of your three usages of the JTE rule throughout the duration of the match, named after the famous Shire bartender, JTE. If you're not sure you heard a question right, you want to buy yourself another 15 seconds, use a JTE rule. You also each have one challenge to be used at any point throughout the five-round match. You as the competitor may initiate the challenge, and then we'll bring your manager in, and they must confirm and ratify for the challenge to, in fact, take place christian those are the rules of round number one and what a ceremony it was for kevin i was there on the beach watching with binoculars so real quick uh john kaiser has a question about the rules around number one yeah i just need to confirm something yeah managers can't say i don't know be in the chat room and no. be managed by their fans, right? The, ma the managers are, if, if a manager is on a, a public, you cannot be on the public chat. If you are or caught on it with you or Winston, it, it will be a fine or for as far as the, uh, you'll lose a point. And it'll, yeah, you cannot be on, you cannot be on the pro, uh, public chat. That, I'm, not I'm not accusing nobody of nothing. I just know Frankie Numbers said that might be a thing with, some well, Frankie never said a lot of stupid things, but uh, and he said so that goes for you too. Stay out of that chat. No talking to video, Drew. Not talking to anybody. I got nothing to say except smack smash. All right. Uh, I think uh, Frankie's a wonderful broadcaster. Hi, Frank. <laughs> All, right. All right. So we are going to now start this match. Are you ready? We start with the champion. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm very ready. I've missed this. I've missed the fans. Let's go. And I asked the challenger, Are you ready? You want to get nuts? Come on. Let's get nuts. And let's get ready to schmodown. Round number one. Question number one in the category of the MCU. In Doctor Strange, what is the name of the device that allows a sorcerer to open up a dimensional gateway to another location? All right. Well, I'm already out. And reminder to the fans, please do not comment with your attempt at an answer right wrong joke you will be booted out five four three two one pens down please and kevin sling ring, sling ring. yes andrew sling ring correct one one as we start right as we thought we would mark question two 
We move on to the only category Christian and I have a shot in, and that is Star Wars, galaxy far, far away. Your question, gentlemen, what character in the Star Wars universe can be heard saying, I ran away with my life. I think that means something. That means something to me. It's a good quote. I like that. Very good quote. And both, like both champion and challenger. And we have five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. And Chandru. A young Han Solo. Yes. Smets. Han Solo. <laughs> Correct. Two, two. Question number three, Middle Earth, the Middle Earth. In which Middle Earth film will you hear the following quote? The horn of Helm Hammerhead shall sound in the deep one last time. Yeah, and just to ruin the suspense, I wouldn't have gotten that Star Wars question. You, Christian? No. I would have guessed like Galen Urso. Probably. Five, four, three, two. One, pens down, please. And Kevin? Lord of the Rings, the two towers. Yes. And Chandru? Lord of the Rings, the two towers. Correct. Three, three. As we get to our next question here, number four, Mark. Impressive job writing that whole title, gentlemen. Your next question is in the world of DC movies. DC movies. And your question. In Batman 1966, Batman the movie, name two of the primary villains that Batman and Robin face off against. Need just two. Do not write more than two. They know so much, Christian. You got to remind them not to write everything they know. Smets finished before you even answered the question. I think. <laughs> and go to round five. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Chandra. The red I went with penguin. the favorite ones of mine: the penguin and the Riddler. That's correct. And Smets. Joker and the Penguin. Correct. All right. Next question. Question five. And if we could have the whole countdown when it goes up, please. Um, all right. Four, four. As we get to our next question. Here it is. Marvel. Marvel. In Logan, what is the name of the boat that Logan wants to get for Charles that he's been saving up for? Oh, well, I know what question I'm asking you after this question, Christian. I can't wait to hear it, but this Prepare is... Prepare yourself. You don't I, need to do an accent. I don't want it. Five, I don't have it. four, I don't have it. three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Smets. The Sunseeker. Yes. Chandru. Sunseeker. Correct. Five, five. We are in a fight here for the Inner Geekdom Championship. Here's the next question, Mark. The next question, gentlemen, that is going to be in the realm of the wizarding world of that kid. The question, in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, what spell does Luna use to fix Harry's broken nose? All right, so Christian, if I gave you a boat, what are you naming the boat? I can't do that in 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, I tried. one. Pens down, please. And Chandru. She usually does toes, but episky. That's correct. Smets? I'll say it right. A pisky. A pisky. Correct. All right. So six, six, you both are questions. perfect thus far. Here's question number seven. Star Trek. Who plays Ayel, A-Y-E-L, Nero's first officer in Star Trek 2009? Uh, Ken Napsok and Josh McCuga of the Afternoons podcast have a yacht, and they named it the Jar Jar Sinks. Hmm. Fun fact. Five, four, three. Repeat. First one. Here it is for Chandru. And who plays Ayel, A-Y-E-L, Nero's first officer in Star Trek 2009? It's one JT rule for Chandru. Kevin yep. still has all three of his. And five, four, three, two, one. One, pens down, and Kevin. Clifton Collins, Jr. Yes, Chandru. I said Scott Atkins. Uh, so the champ nice. draws first blood here as it is 7-6. Seven, 7-6, six. Seven, six, and we get to our next next question here, Mark. That's right. This is going to be in the world of the DCEU. And the question. 
Gentlemen, which DCEU film begins with a quote from Jules Verne? I really think these guys would like each other if they gave it a chance, Christian, but... Very competitive. They're very competitive. And five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Chandru. Justice League. Aquaman. Yes. Kevin. Aquaman. Correct. All right. So we have eight, seven. Kevin Smith has not missed yet, but we are now on question number nine. Heroes and villains. Who plays Emperor Ming the Merciless in 1980s Flash Gordon? This one, you know, I would do well on this one. I, I, yeah, because you wrote the question. No, I didn't actually. No, you. This is the only. You probably called the writers and said, "Let me improvise." Four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Kevin. Max von Sydow. Max Sydow. Let me see the spelling of it. Yeah. Sydow. Yeah. Got it. yeah. And Andrew. Flash. Ah. Uh, Max von Sydow. Yes, correct. All right. So Smets nine, Chandru eight. And so where we're at here, if Smith gets this, he's got a perfect round and gets a bonus question that he, and only he, will answer. Uh, here it is, Mark, question number 10. All right. Question number 10 is in the world of mixed bag. Let's roll up the sleeves, reach our hand in there, and see what we pull out. Could be a snake, a lizard, or a question. It's a question, and that is, for one point, Bruce Willis plays the character of Thomas Greer in what 2009 comic-based film? This is a scrap. I mean, this you can feel it. You can feel it. You can, Christian. You can hear it in how hard they're placing mm -hmm. their writing utensil onto their tablet. Five, four, three, two, one, and Chandru. Surrogates. Surrogates is correct. Surrogates. That is uh, correct. So yes, I want to call Winston on. I want to call Winston in. Okay. Yeah. All right. What's up, Winston? Man? Uh, he's written the surrogates. So. Uh, should we challenge that or no? Because the movie's name is Surrogates, I think. Mm, I mean, they, it's it's ticky tacky, man. I don't, I don't. You gotta give me a. You gotta give me a. No. a yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, if, yeah. If because if, if if there was a the and he didn't write the the. Uh, okay. All right. That, that would be a that would be a valid thing. Right? Yeah. Right. You can't just like err on the err on the safe side and put it everywhere. I get it. Ratify it. Ratify the challenge. For challenge. You, want to, you want to challenge it? Yeah. All right. All right. They're going to challenge it. All right. So they're challenging. Challenge on the table is that it is not the surrogates. It's not the surrogate. So we are going to challenge it, and we will be right back in just a moment here. Seriously? Oh man. Oh well, I guess it's a valid challenge. It happens. It's one of those things, all right? I mean, it happens a lot. It... This is gonna be re more relevant once something like James Gunn's Suicide Movie, Suicide Squad movie, is gonna come out because it's gonna be the Suicide Squad, not Suicide Squad, the 2016 movie. It's, like I said, it's a valid. It's a valid challenge, it's been done multiple times. I can't get mad at this, even though I want to. I want to be mad at Shandru for doing this. I can't, because it's, like I said, it's a valid challenge. In any case, I got five out of the uh, ten questions right. I'm mad at myself for getting this slow, but as I said, these are championship level questions, and it shows. I mean, I've never even heard of the name of the movie Surrogates, so it speaks for itself. Harry Potter question, I should have rewatched the movie a long time ago, but I didn't. Star Trek question, haven't watched 2009 one yet. What else? I don't remember the name of the poet in Logan. I watched the movie twice, I think. I need to watch the movie again because I love that movie. So those are, I believe, the questions I got wrong. Why are they playing the Barbarians theme? Anyways, so how long is this challenge going to be? Let me, sh 
I should probably skip it, but it's going to be a nightmare to edit later, so I'm just going to keep it as it is. Because that's going to be the, uh, the easier uh, approach. Unfortunately for me. Challenges. Okay, so it's about a minute more. So uh, we'll just have to uh, just have to listen to the barbarians theme for about a minute. In any case, whoa! I think I think Chandra's gonna win the challenge and. As a result, Smith isn't going to have a perfect uh, round one, which frustrates me, but that's, that's the way the game is being played. <sighs> At least this is one of the reasons why these matches are getting so long. Because of these uh, challenges. When they happen live, they can't edit it out. I get it, I respect that. That's just. Uh, that's why I needed to wait so that I can have two hours to spare. It's still going. The challenge should be over any second now. All right, we are coming back here from the challenge. We are coming back from the challenge, going to bring all the parties at hand back from the challenge. Mark, go ahead. All right, after conferring with the judges about the question about the article, the surrogates, the way that we have gauged this in previous iterations of a similar query is that if there's another movie called The Surrogates, then the question would be ruled as Kevin Smith's answering it incorrectly. However, there is not another movie called The Surrogates. There is a film called The Surrogate, and there is Surrogates. It is also based off of a comic called The Surrogates. Which is so, my problem. I understand where you're going with this, but if that's the name of the please comic... Please let me make my ruling before I get interrupted. So the ruling is going to be that the challenge will not be upheld. Kevin Smith yes! does get the point for writing yes! The Surrogates. Yeah, we're not ruling it because of the comic book. We're ruling it because of the article. There's no other movie called the Surrogates. So we are giving the challenge. But um, the precedent has been if it's a if it's if it's just a two word movie or a single word movie with the in it and you don't write the, the you get it. Up. Regardless of whether the, whether a movie without the, the exists or not. That's what the precedent has been. And that's what was mentioned in the New York live event last season, uh, in the match chance against Jenny the Machine. And are we changing precedent during the match? What I would like I, to I've do seen to be honest, challenge the and not get it. To be honest with everybody here watching both the live stream yeah, and the competitors and the so managers, long. what I would like to do, to be honest, is we made our ruling. That is our ruling. If it appeases everyone watching, I would like to have one more challenge card played, and I'd like to consult another round with the judges. I'm fine with that. All right. Huh. Please run the card. Thank you. Wow, really? We actually wait for another challenge? That's two challenges on the same freaking question. Okay, this one should be about a minute and a half from longer. Again, I'm not skipping this part. I tried that once during the uh, Star Wars um, tournament and it was a nightmare to edit. So that's why I'm not going for it. I'm going to drink some water.
All right, we're coming back again here, and we are going to Mark Ellis. Go ahead. That is right. After conferring with the judges once again and the snoring dog in the background, <laughs> first of all, I apologize to all the competitors and the managers and the fans in the chat is that we only have a very limited time to discuss challenges. And in this particular matter, I felt it was warranted after hearing the case fully to go back and revisit the challenge. Here's what we have come up with. Because the movie trivia schmodown, while we have not officially published a comprehensive rule book as of now, however, we have set precedents, not just in studio matches, but in live events. One of the precedents that has been set in matches and in years past, both on stage and in studio, is that when it comes to a two-word movie title, articles are important. The focus is usually whether you have the in there in the case of the thing. This was the inverse of that, where surrogates was the correct answer, although it was based on the comic, The Surrogates. Kevin Smets did write down The Surrogates, and that, because it is a two-word title, is technically an incorrect answer. It's heartbreaking to make this ruling either way, but the proper ruling is that Chandrews and Winston's Team Swag Challenge is upheld, and Kevin Smets does not get the point on the question. Hey, let I, me I, ask you, I, let me ask you something. If you're gonna if you're gonna go one way with a challenge and then go the other way, why don't you throw the question out and ask him a new one? That sounds like we, we because we heard all the arguments and Andrew and Andrew. I, res I respect the decision. I don't want to win on right, some gonna, something gonna, that everybody's gonna argue about. We we're gonna have move, four rounds. Move on. We heard Chandrew and Chandrew made good points, and so did Winston. So we we reversed. What, it's all good, it, Kaiser. It's all good, buddy. All right, so we're right. moving hey, now. Master, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Absolutely. I appreciate you, man. All right, so let's... Can we uh, do a high five? If you, if you put your hand on the left-hand side of the screen, it'll look like... Okay, okay, you're pushing your luck now, Chandra. Let's just move <laughs> on with the game. All right. Now, Easy so game. we are back now, and round number two is going to begin. We're going to bring back the Avengers. God help us all. And now we are going to read the rules of round number two as we have a score right now of 10 to 9 in favor of the champion. Ah, oh, finally, something I am good at. In round number two, this is the wheel round, gentlemen. Again, it works like a normal wheel round would in a run-of-the-mill inner geekdom match. You get a spin at the wheel because this is inner geekdom. Once you settle on the category of choice or of the wheel's choice, you're going to have five, yes, five questions in said realm of inner geekdom knowledge. Each question is worth two points. There is no penalty for missing a question, however, stealing. That is available in round number two. So if you're not sure of the answer, ask us for multiple choice. We'll give you four options, one of which is the correct answer. And at that point, the value of the question goes down to one. So Christian, seen a lot already in round number one. Look forward to more chaos in round number two. We do have Kevin Smets, the smasher, still has the option whether he would like to spin the wheel first or defer to his Go opponent. First. So well, let's case. So I'm going to Go drop. First. Hold on a second. I got to drop out Chandru and Winston. You got 60 seconds, Kaiser, to talk to Smets starting now. You want to defer, pal? Yeah, I think I'm going to go first. I'm you feeling it. I had that. Yeah, I had that wrong. It's. You're it is what it is, man. Baby. I don't. I don't want to win on something where everybody's going to complain about it for you know. Nah, you don't need it, brother. Months. You got this. All right, let's defer, pal. Yeah. Are you going to defer or go first? No, we're going first. We're going first, Kaiser. Sorry, I got confused. Yeah. All right. Okay. Sure. So, all right. So let's get the wheel up there, and here is the spin by the champion. Here it is. <laughs> yeah, Christian. I think at this point, both competitors just want to start answering questions again. <laughs> yeah, I think so. And, and it's looking towards MCU. Oh, it's the Wizarding, Wizarding World. World. Uh, you got the Wizarding World. Sixty seconds to decide if you want it. Starting now. Well, uh, not one of your favorites, but certainly doable. No. Yeah. I mean, I like. I, there's nothing really like on the wheel that I don't want to get. So let's go. Let's do what does it mean world? You want you want to do it? Yeah, let's All do right. it. So he's gonna do it. All right, so we're gonna drop out Kyber. We're gonna bring back uh Chandru. Actually, hold on a second. Let's bring back uh Chandru. And Kevin, you're gonna get five questions in the realm of the Wizarding World. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, here you go. Question number one. In Order of the Phoenix, what spell does Umbridge use to break into the Room of Experiment? I might need multiple choices for this one. I, I know it's a two-word spell. Uh, I think I know it, but I need to go multiple choice because he's he's going to have an eagle right. eye. So, is it A. Confringo, B. Bombarda, C. Reducto, D. Defindo. 
Yeah, it's Bombardo. I thought, yeah. Correct for yeah, one point. I thought it's actually it's a different spell. Mm. I know what you're. I know what you're trying to say. What's the challenge? Is there a challenge? Um, no, no, no I, challenge. well, we're just. I'm not going to challenge okay. Christian. For the love of God, just ask the next question no, quick. No, no, go it, ahead. All right. So, and then we, we can have the the I'm countdown, sure please. Countdown spell. with for that one. All right. Here we go. Here's question number two. Question number two. In the Sorcerer's Stone. What is the name of the specific part of the zoo that the Dursley family are in when they see the snake? Uh, the name of the... Ooh. Neanderthal. It's incorrect. Uh, Chandru, in the Sorcerer's Stone, what is the name of the specific part of the zoo that the Dursley family are in when they see the snake? Is it the reptile house? That's correct for two points. Awesome. Yes. All right. All right. It's all good. Question number three. I had reptile Question head, number three. Good. Number 12, Grimwald Place, was the childhood home of which member of the Order of the Phoenix? Serious Black. Serious Black, yeah. Correct for two points. That's Pretty question sure 10, number actually. three. That was three. Excuse is it, me. Is this it is number question 10 four. Or 12? According to Dumbledore, in the Deathly Hallows, part two, what is our most inexhaustible source of magic? Yeah. Multiple choice, my friend. Is it A, love, B, memory, C, words, D, wonder? Love. It's incorrect. It's Chandru, according to Dumbledore in the Deathly Hollows Part 2, what is our most inexhaustible <laughs> source of magic? Is it A, love, B, memory, C, words, D, wonder? Words. Words for one point is correct. Damn it. And big, big steals for Chandru, Christian. And on, that is quite, that was question four. Question Here's five. question five. Yeah. Here's Forgot question five. That. Tom Marvolo Riddle is an anagram for what phrase according to the films? I am Lord, I am Lord Voldemort. Voldemort. For two points, Kevin Smets. And we find ourselves now with the score of 1412. Smets goes, is up by two after that. Smets is up by two. 1412 as Chandru now will be spinning. All right, gonna drop out um, Smets and bring back Winston. You got 60 seconds. Dude, I, I can't be more proud of you right now. I mean, that challenge, way to way to plead your case. I threw a little bit in there, but that was all you hit them with precedent. Like you you put out the tombs, you know what I'm saying? And then two yeah, steals. Yeah, the game hills. Two steals. I am clear, fellas. It was not y'all that swayed the decision. Just that's, don't that's, pat that's, yourself on the back. I, I just want to talk to him. Can I just can I just build him up? That's it. I understand you. I, this is more about just making sure he's good. A uh, couple things. Two JTEs, remember that. Only two. Mm -hmm. You used one. Uh, we still have our challenge because we did end up with a challenge. And um, breathe. Just breathe. You are doing excellent. I'm very proud of you. Let's keep going, man. And, okay, so you guys, that's, you still got 15 seconds left, but you, that's it? Okay. Yeah, that's, right, that's right. Here so we go. Have we have and here's the spin. I still think Smith should have challenged Christian, the This could be question. a monster round for Chandra if he plays his cards or gets lucky with the spin. And here it is. And we're landing on Middle Earth. Middle Earth. You got 60 seconds to decide starting now. What you think, man? All right. This is an elderberry situation. Okay. All right. I respect it. Then let's make it All happen. Right. We're going to yeah. keep it. We're keeping you're, it. You're keeping it. All right. Yep. So we're going to keep it. Going to bring back uh, Kevin here. And we got five questions in the realm of Middle Earth. All right. That's right. Chandra, you're going to have five questions in the world of Middle Earth. You currently are trailing Kevin Smets by two, so this question could tie the match. In the Hobbit trilogy, what is the name of the outlying hill beneath the Lonely Mountain where Thorin dies in battle in the Battle of the Five Armies? Five. Four. Raven Hill. That is correct, and we are tied at 14. All right, so Changer's looking to take his first lead here with this next question. All right, in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. In the film Return of the King, as Mount Doom is exploding, Sam asks Frodo if he can remember the taste of what? Sam. 
strawberries. And they are delicious. Chandru now has the lead by two points over the Smasher. All right, so we're gonna. That is question two. Next question. Three questions remain. And make sure you keep your hands up, gentlemen. Both you guys, hands up. Yeah. All right. In the Hobbit trilogy, in the unexpected journey after making a mess of his home, the dwarves helped clean up their mess. What did one of the dwarves mistakenly use for a dishcloth? A doily. That is correct. Two right. more points. Two more points. Mm. All right. Next, next question here. This is question number four. Yes, it is. Question number and four. All right, here it is. Your penultimate question in the world of Middle Earth. Chander for two points. Lord of the Rings here. In Return of the King, who asks Pippin, can you sing Master Hobbit? It's Denethor. That is correct for two more points. He's having a great round two uh, so far. Uh, All right. Uh, so here uh, is. Hold on. Uh, yeah, you want to bring Kaiser in or what? You, you got to move if you wanted to. You got to let me know. Yeah, I mean, bring Kaiser in real quick. All right. Listen, you know, I heard Denethor, but uh, it's Denethor. But I'm, you know what? No. Let's challenge it. No. Challenge. I don't, Denethor, I don't want to win. That, I don't want to win. That, I don't want to win that way. He said. I don't Denethor. want to hear this. Is it Denethor want, or is it Denethor? Do you want? Do you it's want? De the answer is Denethor. I heard Denethor. And he said Denethor. Okay, yeah. so he challenge. did say Denethor. All right, I did say Denethor. All right, you want a challenge? All right, ready? yes. Challenge the challenge. Table. Challenge, challenge is on the table. All right, challenge is on the table. He said Denethor. I heard it. That's fine. But damn, this is really turning out to be quite the match. I guess now I know why it's so long. Because of all of these freaking challenges. But I mean, it makes sense for a, a, a title defense. You don't, you, you can't pull any punches. And I'm glad Smith challenged it. I think you should have challenged the uh, Umbridge question as well. Because it's the different. None of the four answers that were given. Then again, I mean, he went from multiple Coming choices. back to the stream, the challenge is, is in. So and mind. we're going to bring back the managers here. Mark, go ahead. The challenge is in. The challenge was that Chandra had answered with Denethor and not Denethor, which is the correct answer. After conferring with the judges, it was determined that Chandra had the correct answer. His accent is a little trippy. Everybody speaks in their own way, but... Both judges, as well as our head writer, all talked, and we are in agreement unanimously that Chandru had the correct answer of Denethor. All that's right. fine. I that's that's fine. Look, all right, we're gonna, all due respect. Yeah, it's all good. So, do they lose their do they lose their challenges? Yeah, lose yes, their they challenge. do. Uh, they have no longer any uses of challenges. However, Swag still has a challenge because theirs was upheld in round number one. That's yeah, right. all, re all respect, man. I just I heard it, but I understand your your decision. It totally makes sense. I've 2014. There's one last question here as we get to the final question. Here we go, Mark. That's right. This is the last question in Middle Earth, and what a fun journey it has been. Chandra, your final question. Here we go. This is going to be in Lord of the Rings. What is the name of the elven warrior who brings aid to Helm's Deep? whom we first met in the Fellowship of the Ring. Haldir, H-A-L-D-I-R. Didn't need the spelling, but that is correct. For two more points, and Christian, given all of the, I'm not going to say controversy, but there's been a lot of stops and starts in this match, as you might <laughs> expect with championship caliber, but Chandra just crushed the realm of Middle Earth. That was very impressive to witness. All right, so we're going to bring in the managers here, and we get to round number three. This is a five-round battle far from over here. It is an eight-point lead by the challenger as we get to round number three. Mark, how does it go? I don't know when the last time you were in Vegas was, Christian, but I was there with one of the managers here today. This is the betting round, gentlemen, so a little bit of gambling is going to take place. Here's how it works. Whoever is in the lead, in this case, Chandra the Chosen, is going to get a virtual spin at the wheel. Once we settle on a category... Before a question is asked, and the only question in round three, each competitor is going to have to wager an amount of points. You may wager up to three points. You can also wager zero points or one point or two points. Here's where it gets interesting. 
if you get the ensuing question correct, you get those points you wagered. If you miss the question, you lose that amount of points. That's why they call it the betting round. So we'll make sure we get the bets in before we ask the question and then have at it. So Chandru is going to get to spin the wheel with his mind or his, however he wants to do it. We, do we get to talk to them or no? Yeah, you do. You get, so for, we're gonna, we'll start, we'll start with Kaiser has 60 seconds to talk to smash starting now. So we're going first, right? There's no first. It's just uh, Chandru. It's, it's a betting round. Yeah, Chandru, spin betting the wheel. Copy. Okay. Well, smash, you know what we want to do here. Yeah. Yeah. We're good. All right. All right. Okay. okay. Go ahead. You got 60 seconds there, uh, Winston. Go ahead. First of all, marathon, not a sprint. You're yeah, doing yeah. incredible. Keep breathing. Take your time. You have two JTEs. Oh, all you need to know, all right? All right. I'm most likely going pistachio. Yeah. Got all it. Right. All right. Here's the wheel. And spin is in. Here it is. There it goes. And Christian, boy, we have seen fortunes change mm -hmm. in the betting round. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wheels are rolling. Oh, it's mixed oh, bag. Mixed bag. It's mixed bag. Yeah, it's mixed bag. Oh, All right. dang mixed it. bag it is. All right, so that's in our wheelhouse. Mixed bag. <laughs> All right. So mixed bag. Let's drop. So, gentlemen, if you can make sure you put your points in I'm the uh oh, in here. Are we gonna get a countdown? You, you get a countdown, right? What's that? You get a countdown when they push it at the same time? Yes. yes. So go ahead and enter it into the private chat. Don't hit yeah. enter just yet. Just write the number count. and then yeah. Christian's going to give you a countdown. As soon as he hits zero, y'all hit that enter key so we know everything's above board. All right. So please, in the private chat, on the count of five, four, three, two, one, put it in, please. Thank you. Well done. All right. Well done. All right. So mixed bag, mixed bag it is. And here is your question. Here is your question. All right. In Back to the Future 2, according to Doc Brown, what had been abolished in 2015? Ooh. Where's the count? I like that question. All right. Looks like their answers are in. And five, four, three, two, one pens down, please. Pens down. We start with Chandru. How many points? I bet one. And you said uh, road traffic. Something's not right. It's incorrect. It's a loss of Fuel. one point. Uh, Smasher, you chose I bet three and lawyers. You, lawyers correct. Oh, lawyers okay. awesome. correct. So that's a way to collect some three points right there, right. son. So Let's go. Keep good it rolling. Keep look. it rolling. Hey, Chandru, that's a good look. That was a good look. Mm -hmm. 2117. As we now see round number four comes in. Round number four, what is it, Mark? Oh, round number three. <laughs> round number three, two, and one. That was easy to explain. Round number four, this is where it really gets tricky and where fortunes can change for the better, for the worse. Round number four is the speed round, the lightning round. If you're a fan of old time game shows, here's how it works because it's virtual. Competitors will answer their series of questions one at a time. While one competitor is answering questions, the other competitor will be completely out of the screen and not able to hear the questions, nor will they see what question or score the competitor got in the round. Ten random questions, all within the realm of inner geekdom. Each question is worth a point. An incorrect guess loses a point. However, there is another option. If you're not sure of the answer and you don't care to wager a guess, you may simply say pass. And that event will go to the next question and no points are awarded or lost. After the field of questions is asked, we'll return to any questions that were passed on. You may again pass if you're not sure of the answer, but you're also free to wager a guess at that point. All of this action takes place within a tight 60 second window. That 60 seconds is going to kick off as soon as I, Mark Baby Caratellis, have read the first question of the 10. All right. So, Chandra, you have the lead here. You can discuss with Winston right now. 60 seconds if you want to go first or second starting now. I would say we go second. Yeah. So here's the thing. I definitely need a bathroom break. So going second is. Okay. All right. Let's then let, we're going second. And um, am I going to talk time? again when he comes back? What's that? You're not going to be able to talk to him when he comes okay, back. So then, so then a couple things. Two JTEs. We, we're going over this again every time. 
Yeah. There's, no, there's no JTs in the speed rounds. There no, are no oh, that's fine. Forget the JTs. Don't even listen to that. That's not important right now. So don't worry about that. Breathe and take your time. We've practiced the speed round. You know what to do and what not to do in certain situations when questions come up. Other than that, let's keep it going. This We still have two rounds left, baby. So go get that pee break in, and we're good to go. All right. So because so we are going to be – so Chandra is going to be in the chat room, and because – we want to make sure once Chandra is back, Chandra, go ahead and go to the restroom now. And as soon as Chandra gets back, enter the room. When he enters the other room, he's got to leave this room. And then once he does, then we will make sure that we start Smashers. So we're going to remove Chandra. How are you and, guys doing? All right. So, uh, so far, so good. We got to let's let's bring in let's bring in Kaiser and. Smash. All right, you got 60 seconds here, 60 seconds to discuss starting yeah, now. But the round won't start till he gets back, right? No, it start. Don't worry about it. Okay, I just want to make sure. <laughs> hey, man, that was a nice pickup. Three points. You know yeah, you can I... catch him. This, this game ain't over, buddy. No, this, a, is when, this is when a champion is tested. This is where you make your bones, brother. I told you I, told you I wanted to go through a street fight. I wanted to, I wanted hey, to fight and gut my way. So I'm excited Look, for you. And I, like Honestly, I'm glad that the challenge was not held up or that wasn't challenged. The challenge from round one, I'm glad, because I didn't want that. The Denator thing, I feel bad, because it wasn't anything about, like, anyone's accent or something. You know, like, yeah, for whatever. me in my you head, I thought I heard wrong. it. But... Whatever, it's over. Let's not, much, I, much wanna, I don't want to think about the past. Let's think but I'm, about I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm excited for this ready round. to go. I'm, dude, I yeah. love mixing this up. This has been fu this has been awesome, man. I've missed right. the game so much. Missed you guys, so let's do this. Let's All right, do it. ready to go. We've got, we have Chandra, I believe we're going to get the word, is going to be, in, he's he's back. and He's, he's watching the show in the other room? No, <laughs> we're gonna, he's, not in the, he's not in the other room yet. As soon as we get word that he's in the other room, he's in the waiting room. All right, so we, Winston, hands up, please, as Winston watches, Winston, in case there's any challenges or whatnot. So, Smasher, are we going to move Kaiser out of here? Do I need my hands up or could I lean down? Because I mean, I'm not going to be typing fast enough for this anyway. Can I have my hands down? Yeah, that's that's fine. If you, okay. it, that's fine. Just uh, and we are going to mark our hold on a moment here. Let's get ready and yeah, Kev. Uh, before we yeah. start the clock, I'm going to be the one that tells you when the clock starts. How are you going to know? Because I'm going to have asked the first question. Okay. So are you I asking all of the questions? Or Mark, right Mark, will, Mark will be asking all the questions. You're asking yeah. all the questions. Okay. Yeah. I have a backup stopwatch here just in case. So it's going to be 60 seconds. Again, your time is not going to start until I'm finished asking the first question. Okay. So it's been a long, arduous match already. I'm going to ask questions in a brisk pace. I'm not going to rush through them. I'm going to take John Wooden, legendary coach's advice. Be quick, but never hurry. I'm going to ask you a practice question right now, just so that we make sure the connection is there. Okay. Exactly. Do you want me all to right. run the clock? Uh, do not run the clock for the practice question. Thank right. you. <laughs> you uh, Kevin Smets. Yes. What is your favorite film in the Back to the Future franchise? Oh, Back to the Future 1. No question. All right. I would not have accepted They're all perfect. perfect. They're all yeah. perfect, though. Shout out. Yeah. All, right. all right. So, Kev, I'm going to ask you your 10 questions, and then any questions that you passed on, I'm going to go back to those. I will not tell you whether you got your other questions correct or incorrect. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. All right. 60 seconds. At the end of this question, ask. Who plays Captain Haddock in The Adventures of Andy Serkis. Tim? In which film does Ron say, eat slugs to Malfoy? Uh, Chamber of Secrets. Secrets. Who plays Margot Wayne in The Shadow? Penelope Ann Miller. Name a character that appears in all six Middle Earth films. Uh, Galadriel. Michael Guff plays what character in Batman Forever? Uh, Michael uh, uh, Alfred. In Justice League, what is the name of Steppenwolf's minions? Parademons. Which actress plays Karen Page in Daredevil? Ellen Pompeo. You can find the villain Mola Ram in which Indiana Jones film? Temple, Temple of, of Doom. Doom. Indiana Jones Temple of Doom. What original song from Back to the Future was nominated for an Oscar? Power of uh, Love. Uh, pass. How many times has Kobe Smolders portrayed Agent Hill Six in the times. MCU? I was going to Six. go five. Michael Guff plays what character in Batman? I said that already. Alfred. In Justice League, what is the name of Stephen? Parademons. What original song from Back to the Future was nominated for an Oscar? Power of Love. That's my answer. Not going to risk it. Okay, so he passed on the last one. 
And that's a good eye on you, Kevin Smith. Uh, so Kevin Smith now has his total tabulator. We're not going to reveal how many he got right or got wrong until we have had Chandra complete his certain. round. Well, well one that I'm not so sure about. Uh, I just have a, a question as far as the Chamber of Secrets. Does he need to? Did he? Is Harry Potter in the question? Did he need to say no, Harry Potter? Need Harry Potter. I'm just, I'm just asking. Speed round, man. Come on, cut us. No, 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 no. I, I understand. I'm it, just it, asking it, the question. It's a totally fair question. It's a yeah, totally no, fair question. But no, but no, he does not have to. Okay. That's all right. I wanted to know. That's all good. It. All good. All right. So um, now we I understand it's the championship match. I get it. <laughs> I get it. Uh, yeah. So we okay. So we're gonna drop Smets out now. Okay. So I leave. You leave. All right. Now we're gonna now we're gonna bring. You need to jump into the next room, uh, and now we're gonna bring Chandru. We're gonna bring Chandru back. All right. So uh, as soon as Chandru returns, so mm -hmm. we will bring them back in just a moment here. Once Chandru completes his round and we take some time to make sure that we've tabulated the scores correctly. Again, folks, they're flying fast and furious. We're going to have that updated score announcement and then we will progress to round five, which will determine the match. Although, Christian, the way this is going, we could be looking at sudden death and some bonus schmodown. All right. So we have we have Chandru in here now. Chandru is in the room. Mark, you're going to give him the same uh, same deal for what we gave to. Oh, wait, we got to remove. No, no, that's fine. Okay, all right, here all we good? go. Yeah, all good. All right, Chandru, uh, how was the bathroom break, okay? Yeah, refreshing. Okay, you can relax for just a sec, buddy. I'm just going to walk you through the rules again, okay? Oh, okay. So, uh, for the speed round, you don't necessarily have to have your hands where you can see them because nobody can Google that fast, but you do what feels comfortable to you. Okay. When I start reading the question is not when the time begins. When I finish the first question okay. is when your 60-second clock starts, and I have a backup stopwatch right here just in case. So again, you can either answer or you can say pass. You will hear all the questions that you passed again, provided that we still have time in the 60 second window. You do not have to answer any question at any point throughout the 60 seconds. So before we get going, I'm just gonna ask you a practice question to make and, sure that you can hear me okay I and, and I can hear you, okay? I have a clarification. If, if you ask the question, the last question, if you ask it, when the timer runs out, I cannot answer after the timer is run out. Not after okay. the time after the timer, okay. no, but you also, but you also won't lose any points if you if you don't answer on something you passed on. It's just mm -hmm. the only time you'll get docked a point is if you miss a question. Yeah. All right, so All Chandra, right. I'm going to give you a practice one just to make sure we can hear each other. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chandra, what is your all-time favorite Batman film? Batman. Lego like Batman. Okay. Good. <laughs> All right, here. I like that. Okay. Again, I'm going to ask in a quick pace, but I'm not going to hurry. Okay. So you can mm -hmm. clearly hear the question, then we're going to move on. I am not going to tell you whether you got the question correct or incorrect. I'm just going to go to the next one. Okay. Yep. Roger that. Okay. Here we go. Your time starts at the end of this question reading. Who plays Captain Haddock in The Adventures of Tin Tin? Andy Sokis. In which film does Ron say, eat slugs to Malfoy? A Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Who plays Margot Lane in The Shadow? Penelope Ann Miller. Name a character that appears in all six Middle Earth films. Gandalf. Michael Gough plays what character in Batman Patrick Forever? Pennyworth. In Justice League, what is the name of Steppenwolf's minions? Parademons. What actress plays Karen Page in Daredevil? Ellen Pompeo. You can find the villain Mola Ram in which Indiana Jones film? Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. What original song from Back to the Future was nominated for an Oscar? The Power of Love. How many times has Kobe Smulders portrayed Agent Hill in the MCU? Three, two, one. Yes. <laughs> okay, Andrew just decided to go to a nice, happy state there, Christian, and he passed on that last question. All right, so we now will just tally up real quick, and then once we tally up, we will bring both the competitors back here. So that was about as intense yeah. as you get, Mark. I'll take a quick breather here, folks. We'll be back with round five. <laughs> All right. Hold on a second.
<laughs> we'll let Christian tabulate the votes and I'll be on here vamping. So this is my opportunity to remind everybody that, yes, this is an intense match tonight, but this is just the beginning of all these exciting Schmodown pay-per-view events that we're going to have the next few Fridays. And then, yes, we are keeping an eye on that Kevin Smith versus Chris Jericho headline matchup. And really, who would have thought that there would be any match that you could possibly have between two human beings that would supersede Guy versus Bateman 2? That's right. The action fellows, they're not too happy with each other. So they're going to be competing in movie trivia. And that is the undercard. And you can get all that for just $10 at the Schmodown Patreon tier. Or you can check it out on pay-per-view at your leisure. And look at how great our tech team is behind the scenes, already updating that graphic from the 27th to the 28th. One of the more impressive feats I have seen. And before we get the judges score, how about everybody in the chat room right now? Just give it a clap emoji or say clap her hands for everybody working so hard behind the scenes here. Our wonderful tech crew really pulling off the wizardry that makes this schmo down hum. All right, so we're gonna bring back both the champion and the challenger. So. In this speed round, you both got nine correct, and you both passed on one. You both gained nine points. Smets, you you passed on what original song from Back to the Future was nominated for an Oscar? That was <laughs> the Power of Love. I figured I just didn't want to get. I just wasn't sure about that. Wanted Andrew, mm -hmm. you passed on how many times has Colby Smolders portrayed Agent Hill in the MCU? The answer was six. So, with so that. With that, here's the, here's the thing though. In Far From Home, she didn't portray. Doesn't matter. You didn't answer it. You didn't. The actress. Just, but but he answered six, right? Six is wrong. Come on. Colby Smolders was in it sixth. Okay. She didn't yeah. portray Maria, Maria Hill in the sixth one. If that be the case at the moment, then we'll have to retally that. Unfortunately, there are no challenges in the speed round, and we now will. Have, and there was no challenge made afterwards from your manager. So at the moment, we are now going into round number five. What are the rules in round number five, Mark? Round number five, Christian. This is the round that will determine the match, unless, you know, overtime, sudden death. So in round number five, what we need from each competitor is a series of numbers. We need three numbers from each of you. You may not pick the same numerals as your opponent. This is inner geekdom, so your three numbers must be within the range of one to 16. As soon as we get the numbers, those numbers are going to correspond to a different corner of inner geekdom goodness. Your first question is worth two points. Your next one is worth three points. Your last one, should we get that far? And I think we will. It's worth five of the biggest points of your Schmodown career. So because Andrew enjoys a lead of four, we are going to have his three <clears throat> numbers first. Keep in mind, competitors, there is no stealing in round number five, and there is no penalty for missing a question in round number five. Okay, Chandra, what feels lucky to you from one to 16? I'll say two for the two Jokers that won the Oscars, seven for all seven Jokers, and 12 for all 12 Bat Bruce Wayne. All right, Chandra, two, seven, and 12. And for Smets? Uh, representing SDSU, let's do 619, my friend, 619. Six, one, nine for the champion. All right, so, so Kevin Smets right now has a deficit of... Right now, excuse me, it is where it did four. I think it's 30 to 26. Four. It's 30 to 26 at the moment. 30 to 26. Thank you. So, Smet, you're going to answer first to try yeah. to avoid the TKO. Going to drop out both Winston and Kaiser. All right, your first one. You chose category number six. Category number six. Yeah. All right, here it is. Category Marvel. Who plays Moira McTaggart in X-Men First Class and X-Men Apocalypse? Rose Byrne. Rose Byrne. For two points, that is correct. All right. So now, in order to bounce it to Chandru, you need to hit Category 1. Category 1. And you chose the category of Who Said It? <laughs> who Said It? Love Who Said It. All right. Here you go. Which Marvel character in a 2005 film says the following? You always think. You never act. What if we got these powers for a reason? Johnny Storm. The human Mr. Fantastic. Boy. Reed Richards. That is incorrect. The answer is Johnny Storm, Human Torch. So. One of those days, man. Fine. We get down to this. 
you be a five pointer. If you hit the five pointer, it bounces back to Chandru. However, if you miss it, Chandru will win the championship via TKO. Are you ready? Ready. Category nine for your five pointer heroes. Heroes. Here it is. In Captain America, the first Avenger. What is the code name of the super soldier experiment that Steve Rogers goes through? Project Rebirth. Project Rebirth. For five yes. points, the champion gets it there as we see ourselves now. 33 to 30. 33 to 30. So Chandru is in the position to win the championship here, Mark. Matt has used all <sighs> of his uh, questions at the moment. So here is Chandru who needs to hit number two. Category two. I can't hear Mark. Oh, Mark, I can't hear you. Muted. And we're back. There you go. <laughs> Just giving that golden maple syrupy voice a little break. So Chandru currently trails by three. He can catch up with these next two questions, Christian, and win the match. But that's not going to be an easy task because, Chandru, you selected number two for your two-point question. Yep. That corresponds to the Wizarding World. Okay. And your two-point question. This could get you to within one of the champ, the Smasher's lead. What is the name of Harry Potter's aunt who he lived with before going to Hogwarts? Petunia. Petunia. P-E-T-U-N-I-A. Petunia. All Appreciate right. you, my man. Don't need to spell it. We're within one, Christian. So here is where we are. Chandru either needs to hit his three or his five. If he does, he is the new movie trivia schmodown inner geekdom champion. Mark, he chose category number seven for his three-pointer. For his three-pointer. That's right, Christian. And this is the question that, if Chandra answers correctly, would win him the match and the belt. And given his pre-show show, it's a third <laughs> category. This is in the world of the DCEU. And Chandra, your question. For the win and to become the inner geekdom champion of the world. In Shazam, how many total people live at the Vasquez family foster home after Billy becomes a member of the family? Repeat. First one. Oh, second one. Excuse me. Second one. And do that. This is in the DCEU. In Shazam, how many total people live at the Vasquez family foster home after Billy becomes a member of the family? Seven. Eight. I just want to hear the wording again. Uh, repeat. Last one. This is in the DCEU. In Shazam. How many total people live at the Vasquez family foster home after Billy becomes a member of the family? Eight. Six children and two Eight. adults. Damn it! And your winner! <laughs> and the newest <laughs> movie yeah. champion of the world! Oh my god. And oh my god. <laughs> The oh my god. Chosen! Dude, you did it! Andrew, you did it! Oh my god! Andrew wins! Andrew! Andrew, you did it! Oh god, I want to swear so bad! Dude, you did that! You did that! That was you! I am so proud of you! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Swagathon 2020! Let's go! Final score. <laughs> I've heard three. Oh. The chosen Dendamani taking oh. the tribute showdown inner geekdom championship from the Smasher. He is the new champion.
And that is an absolute crazy, crazy match. Chandra, look, man, you're going to stick around here to talk to uh, the patrons. By the way, if you're a patron at the $10 level, you come in and you can ask some questions. Q&A at the uh, end here. Talk to the new champion. Come on. I see you, Chandru. I see you, boy. I see you. I see you. All right. So if we can if we can get to the standings also, because that's a, that's another thing, because not only not only did they win the championship, uh, if you look at the overall standings, once we get those ready, it is an absolute crazy, crazy scene here as Chandru takes the title from the smasher and winston marshall who managed a hell of a game here a hell of a game and you can see how much it meant to him i mean unbelievable unbelievable i, I, I can't i can't y'all don't understand this man is the heart and blood of swag i said it when i was on that stage i said i'm going for somebody with that melon that looks like me i told you this man coached everybody this man has been there for everybody. He's his zoom is always open. He's there to be in a, in a thing. If he's not even involved, it could be regular schmoed out. He doesn't care. He wants to be there. He earned this. He earned this so hard. And it, it just forget swag. I, I'm so proud of the faction. This is about you. You did this. They all doubted you. They said that he was going to smash you. And what did you do? You proved that you're the chosen one. I watched Fellowship. I don't even like Lord of the Rings. I watched it. You're the ring bearer, my guy. You're the ring bearer. Oh, my God. Andrew, look, man. Uh, look, I got to tell you. I mean, you, you played a very tactical game here. You played a very tactical game. And you have to be, uh, you have to be commended for it for the way that you played. Because, it, look, it, the challenge was something that, you know, it, you, you had you, you made your move. You made your play. That worked out for you. You played that second round beautifully. Um, it looked like after that first round that you got Smets rattled and you played on that. And you could tell you played on it really well. And you did well because even in that betting round, you, you betted conservatively. You only bet a point, And then you just annihilated that speed round. Impressive playing. I mean, you've only been playing this game for this, your second season. And you seem like, a, you know, you've been playing it for years. Does that also come because you've been a fan of the thing for so long? Yeah, definitely. At, at actually, being a student of the game and like watching all these matches uh, helps a lot. And uh, uh, I, I've learned last season that knowledge can only take you so far. Playing the game uh, well and playing the game um, strategically is also important. And standing up for yourself in ch challenges like this, especially when how, when I have like a manager and a faction supporting me, is is great. I I still I still can't believe this is. <laughs> happening my eyeliner is running you're the champ you, you are the inner geek team champion i know you, you can you are the champion and um there is a there's a lot to talk about there but mark i know you had a couple questions yeah chandru it, it's such an emotional time for you right now and this is one of my favorite parts of the gig is that we get to talk to competitors who are fiery who are technicians who know a lot about a lot of movies as and we see the standings here yeah. How does that feel oh. with swag on top of the Finstock exchange? Christian, that might elicit a few more tears from uh, I Winston mean, Marshall. Well, that, that is a night. That is a story all in itself. I mean, the, the, they, they came in here today, the heavy underdogs, and and the pride looked like they were going to, you know, maybe even upset after that first round. But they fought back. They won both. This was swag's night. 30 points. 30 points over the Finstock exchange. This is the first time the Finstock exchange has not been in first place. Wow, what a night there for swag. Sorry the, uh, to, to finish up on uh, what you were asking there, Mark. I apologize. Hey, you know me. I can always get cut off by stats. Uh, Chandru, in this time right now, and you're feeling just the thrill of victory, there's somebody else on the other side of the ledger who's experiencing the agony of defeat. What do you have to say for your combatant, Kevin the Smasher Smets? I mean, I, I just want to say he played a great game today. Like, uh, he came back both in the – in the in the betting round and the speed round uh, and a perfect round five so which is which is all what I expected of him like I didn't I didn't expect him to give up at all and I didn't expect him to rat get rattled just because of uh, a lead uh, um, being trailing in those matches so I'm sure he'll get more chances to uh, play uh, down the line and uh, I'm also excited on the fact that. Uh, there could be a potential Smets versus Kalinowski coming down the line because both of them are w probably one ma one match away from again playing for the title. And uh, 
I'm also excited for that. And uh, every time, any time Smith gets a loss, he gets even better, better for the next match. So I'm, I'm Shannon. Why are you here? Oh, Nobody man. wants to talk to you. Go away, Shannon. It's not, Shannon. It's not about you. You see this? I'm doing your bit. This isn't about you right now. Shannon, Marty, Marty, you've been in here for the Shannon. You, 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 I'm here to tell you congratulations. So pipe the hell down, sir. Sit down and let me tell you good job. All right, Shannon, you did May crash. I? Too. Yeah, what? Well, yes, please. I mean, there's a reason you crashed. May you I, please? Yes, go ahead. Go, go, please. Chandru, the chosen Don Dapani, you did it. You dethroned Kevin Smets. And I will say, congratulations. I did not think you would do it. I had my money on Smets, but I most certainly did not discount you at all because I know that you are the slimiest, most weaselly, challenge horny player in this entire league and you would do whatever it took to get rid of Smets. And hey, you did it. It worked. And you guys are in first. You got a nice double whammy under your belt. And to that, I tip my hat to you. Enjoy first place as long as you can. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to moan. I'm not going to bitch about it. But I just want you to know, Winston Marshall, enjoy it for a minute because one, two, corruption's coming for you. I don't watch scary movies, so that reference to Nightmare was dumb. Get out of our victory parade. Oh, I see that we're in the lead. Swag, swag, drip, drip. We just took a chip. Three, four, yo, or, oh my God. We were, oh my God. All right. Oh my well, God. Listen, listen. So, like, the one, the one thing that she does bring up here, though, too. I mean, she came in. That's what she does. She comes in. She fires shots. She takes off. She's the queen for a reason. Um, but look, the one thing that she makes a point of: we know who you're playing next. Uh, you're defending the championship at Spectacular against Chance, the Cobra, Ellison. Uh, you know, there, there is. This is a big battle here. So, what do you think here uh, about Chance and his? Uh, and his play in that inner geekdom, Chandra. And to think I was going to play some new players this season. It's all uh, old competitors, old rivals. It's 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 interesting that uh, Winston is dressed as Robin here because I'm going to play the, the boy Wonder of Corruption next. It's just, I, I don't know if he'll bring both of his uh, babysitters to the match. I don't know if we, he can only bring one of them. So uh, we'll see. Um, all props to Chance. He played a hell of a hell of a tournament. Like I was really uh, impressed with how much he how much he knows and how much effort he's putting into this tournament. So um, looking forward to that. And also, um, um, again, like I said, I'm playing new, not playing new players, and I'm trending, a, uh, seeing a trend this season. I'm playing people who've beaten me before, who've outscored me before. And uh, this is this is the season of redemption. This is the season of uh, I don't want to say revenge because revenge is it's uh, look, it's hard to say anything else. But, but enjoy it right now, my friend, because you can say it. You are the new movie trivia <laughs> inner geekdom champion of the world, and <laughs> the chosen. Congratulations! I know how hard you worked for us. So, all right, we're gonna remove and congratulations to Winston. We're gonna see you guys in just a second because we are gonna have a uh, a Q and A with the patrons. We'll bring you in just a moment, but we want to bring in both um, Kevin Smets, John Kaiser, Kev. Uh, I know you're you're probably uh, a little beat up about it right now, and uh, it was. Do you think after that first round, when the challenge went Chandra's way, uh, it seemed, and I could be wrong, it seemed like a shift in your mentality once uh, once it went the other way? Yeah. Um, well, I knew. When the challenge went, when it was an underway, I was hoping for it to go my way so I can get that bonus uh, question. But I honestly, then half of me was like, well, I don't want to win that way because it is surrogates. It was just, it was a mental error. I was riding that high of nine, nine questions in a row. Um, you know, it was the second round again for some reason with chandra i can't i my second rounds uh, i have difficulty with it uh with the uh harry potter second round um you know i do a lot of hardcore studying with uh with all all the slices i didn't really get around to that um i had binged it all with the lady and it was it was fun to watch but i should have um 
gone with my, I think my gut, I was like, well, maybe I should respin it. I really want scores and soundtracks one day of my life. But um, the problem was, you know, that first one, it's Reducto, but actually in the movie, she says Reducto Maximus or Maxo, and I couldn't remember it. Um, so that's why I went multiple choice for that one. And then the snake, I knew they were in the reptile room, but I recall that they were in another room in the zoo and that they run over when he falls in the thing. So there was a lot of like second guessing. It's funny because, you know, I think in any of those other slices, I probably would have ran the table and you'd think with Harry Potter, I'm the Harry Potter champion uh, per se. Uh, but then, you know, uh, yeah, I don't know if it was me getting rattled from losing that challenge because I was really okay with it. But, um, you know, for me, I, I kind of come away with a little bit of a victory here because, you know, coming back, like I was down a lot and I was down a lot against Chandru the first time. Seems like I always play uh, catch up with him, but it's sports. This time, you know, the, the three point shots trying to come back weren't, weren't falling for me. And, you know, I got to give it up to Chandru, man. Like you played excellent. Like if I can't literally, this breaks by heart, I can't literally hand it to you right now on camera, but I wish I could so you could hold it up because you played it. You were, a, I hope you're a fighting champion too. I love this belt. Um. All right, Kev. Listen, this was a this was a. I know how much you love it, and I know how much you know. This was is probably it. You've been through this before, though. I mean, obviously, with uh, Kaiser, and I can ask you the same thing. Like, you guys have been through this kind of loss before with, with with Mike, and and I know how much the belt meant to you. But what does that mean now? Uh, and I guess Kevin can answer this after you do, Kaiser. But it's like. Is this one of those things where you get right back on the horse, you take some time, you wait for season eight? Uh, what do you do? We all know what Kevin Smets is like when he's a man on a mission. Sometimes he needs to take a, a kick to the jaw to pick himself back up and come back even stronger. We all know winning the belt is tough. Hanging onto that belt is a lot harder. Uh, you never underestimate Chandru. He's a damn good competitor. We always knew that he was going to come in and, and fight his butt off. Um, I was a little, I was happy to watch his mascara run. That was kind of fun because Shannon's not wrong. He, he is, he is a weasel, but he's, he's, he's the champ. He's a champion weasel. Now I uh, want to give Winston props. He came into this league. He's taking it by storm. You know, I got a lot of words for Winston and I like to bust his hump, but you can't take nothing away from what his team's done this year. The dungeon will come back stronger. We can't wait to come back live, come back live at a live event and take our belt back. And that will happen. Now Smets gets to go have a kid. He gets to bring a baby smasher into the world, take some time off. But remember this. Now I get to unleash Kevin Smets in singles. He can get out of IG if he wants. He's got other options on the table. I know he's excited about that. I'm happy for him. I love him. He's my brother. He will be back, and he'll be back stronger. Actually, you know what? I like a challenge. So this, this ain't nothing. This is just a couple months we don't have a belt. But we will, we'll be back. That's for sure. We always bounce back. Yeah, man. Hey. Kaiser, I just, you know, I know that, you know, we started this year, we want to be a fighting champion, and then we lost uh, Mar in New York, and then we lost, uh, you know, the, the the match in Houston, and I, I, I feel bad, I feel like, uh, you know, you, you went all in on me, and you picked me first, and, you know, for me to come away from this season with zero points for you, I, I'm very sorry, man, but I promise you this, it's, it's not going to be the same smasher next year, I'm going to come back, everybody's seen what's happened, uh, when I've fallen and uh, I'm just no to, to work harder, you know, uh, I need I need it's just the second round the second round again Kind of just knocked me off my game uh, and then I was playing catch-up. You saw that uh, you know the, the fifth round I was fine the, the uh, Speed round. I'm sure I'll get slack from Brad about that. I just wasn't sure and I didn't think he would know it. So um, That's why I did that skip, but I just you know Kaiser as far as you know, you being my best friend man I'm sorry. I let you down this year, dude um, and uh yeah, there's no need to, to FedEx the belt whenever Chandru wants it. I'll be glad to give it to him, give him hand, shake his hand and say congratulations. I'll be back, man. This this makes me stronger. And uh, yeah, anything I can do for the dungeon, I will. And yeah, um, yeah. I, you know, uh, I, there, I, it's not the end of the world. I, I, there's great things uh, for me right now. I'm very happy. I have like like Kaiser said, I have a little one coming in the world. Did, was it distractions? I don't think it was. I think that the what happened last weekend was beautiful, and it really like calmed myself and it it cleared the decks. I just think that I went all in on Potter, and maybe I shouldn't have done it. I I kind of discounted on my base knowledge of that when I should have gone for what I was planning to do, which I was aiming for a couple slices on there. I didn't do it. So breaking it down, it all happened in the second round, and uh, you know. Uh, congrats to Chandru, you know, and I just appreciate being on here with you guys and mixing it up. It's, you know, to only play once this year is heartbreaking after, you know, playing um, so many times last year, but 
Uh, it's the world it is today, and I, I just miss the fans and I miss the interaction. And, you know. Um. Hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Does anybody love this game more than Kevin Smets? Man, I'll no. tell you, it's okay seeing him like this. He's going to pick up. I, I, I love a challenge. He's going to pick up his head. He's going to come back stronger. Changer ain't going nowhere. The Kalinowskis of this world aren't going anywhere. Hell, Chance came out and showed that he's one of the best players in the IG. Who saw that coming? It makes for a better division. It makes for better competition. This is just where the dungeon wants to be with our back against the wall, and we're going to come back stronger, Harloff. I promise you that. All right. Well, look, Mark, you had one? I don't have a question, Christian. I think we've allowed Kaiser to talk plenty, although it was a very tough loss for him. So I'll just reiterate this to Kevin, the smasher Smets, although I'm sure he already knows it, is that the theme in Batman is that you become more than a man, you become a symbol. And I think that you've managed to do that within the realm of the Schmodown, that you're no longer just flesh and blood. You're someone who a lot of people look to as a story of resilience, as a story of greatness and gold tested in fire. But what I'll tell you is that that belt, while it may have a lot of gold on it, and it's a pretty heavy belt, you're going to replace it with another bundle of joy that I think is going to mean even more to you. And so from everybody here at the Schmodown, congratulations. I think you've done what very few people who knew as many inner geekdom answers as you did, and that is that you managed to find a loving partner and do some <laughs> procreating. So congratulations, my friend. Yeah, and Kevin, and to, to echo that, we know you'll be back. Uh, we know that the dungeon will be back and we thank you for everything that you put into this game and how much heart and soul that you put into it. And uh, like you said, Chandra played his heart out today and he's the champ. And what it also does, it it opens up that field for that rubber match should it happen down the line. So, all right. Thank you so much to both Kevin Smets and to Mr. Kaiser here. Thanks, Kevin, everyone. Thank you so much. All right. So we're going to remove both those guys. Bring back Winston... Ooh. Will end the new movie trivia showdown. Inner Geekdom champion, uh, Mr. Chandru. And there you are, Chandru the Chosen. <laughs> hey, I can be screen. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. Hold on. Belt on to this. That is, in fact, a belt. Before we get to our, I don't want to miss any of the fans. I'm going to run and feed a very hungry dog, and I'll be right back. I'll be right back. All right, so Mark will Mark will come back in just a moment here. Oh, um, I got you, bro. I got my belts too. Let's go, bro. <laughs> Let's go. I'm with you, my man. I, can I can I just say real quick before I yeah. know the fans? I know the fans are coming in. The patrons are yeah, coming in yeah. soon. I first of all need to congratulate uh, Kevin Smets on just the life upgrade, on getting married, on having a baby, dude. That's that's real life stuff. And and I gotta tell you, in a time considering how crazy the world is right now, I can't give you anything more but love at all. You need some formula. You need you need a break. I'm an uncle 15 times over. You tell me what you need, man. Nothing but love for you. Um, and and to follow that up, not just the real life. Um, the only reason that we're here is because of you. You helped pave that way the same way that Kalinowski did before you and Rachel did before you and every single person that's held that IG belt. You put that fire in us. You showed us the path. You showed us the way. And so that is why we came at you as hard as we did, my man. You are truly an incredible champion. And you crafted another one right here. I know people go back and forth, want to talk trash and say that Chandru's rude and Chandru's this. Forget all that mess. This is a passionate man that cares about the people in his life. And he played his butt off. And it's all because of people like Smets, like Kalinowski, like Rachel. You guys are the reasons why this continues to happen. All right. So thank you, Winston. Are we going to bring in some of the uh, patrons here now? Okay. So um, it was a very tough loss for, for Smets, for Kaiser. And for myself, because uh, because um, Smets is my favorite uh, competitor in the Schmodown right now. And it breaks my heart to see him lose like that. Especially because of... Let, let's put it out there. He primarily lost because of the second round. I mean, he was lights out in round one. And then uh, the, the challenge by Chandru, which was a two-round challenge. He challenged it twice, I believe. First time I think that that's ever happened on the same question, but like I said, it's a valid que it's a valid challenge, and I can't get mad at that. But I think that challenge just really um, 
kind of messed with uh, Smith's head. And that's why he, cr he tried to challenge the Den of Thor one, which I think he should have won. But again, he also should. I think he also so should have challenged the Umbridge one question from the f first one, and I think he would have won that one. Regardless, um, yeah, it, it was a tough one, and uh, that was more, that was only round two. I mean, he crushed it in the in the uh, the betting round. He bet three points, got three points. The speed round, he was very smart. He got nine out of ten, and the tenth one, he just he knew he didn't want to risk it, so he just passed on it. And round number three, num number five, I should say, he uh, he got two questions right. The, the third, the, the second question, the uh, the three pointer, he got the wrong answer, but it was the right scenario because it, he said, "Mr. Fantastic, it was uh, the Human Torch." Human Torch says that to Mr. Fantastic in that scene, so he wasn't too far off. And but but uh, yeah, so Chandru just had the better match. And uh, that's uh, the way the game goes, and just he was, he had a perfect round two, which you can never uh, uh, overlook. That speaking of terrible round twos, I had a terrible second round. I think I only got two, two questions right in that uh, round two, and uh, this is my final score, 18. I'm very proud of myself. Again, there is still a bunch of questions that I'm kicking myself over. As I mentioned in round one, the Harry Potter questions, the Lord of the Ring questions, I need to uh, I need to go back and rewatch those movies because I am I am definitely planning on uh, joining the Schmodern at some point. Not with this performance though. I so I uh, that, that's all I have to say. But fortunately for me, that's still a long way away from from now. So this is the way I played. This is the way they played. Congratulations to the new despicable. Uh, New new champion and Sean Rudandapani. I mean, I don't like this guy, but based on this performance, I at the very least respect him. He's the new champion, and I, I'm going to have to live with it. I'm not going to. Uh, uh, never mind. Uh, so yeah, congratulations to the new champion, and my condolences to the uh, n to the losing competitor, and also congratulations to the uh, losing competitor. On uh, his new upgrade in life, and uh, the other one that's about to come. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have, and uh, go Shmoda. Hello again, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed this video, cause I really enjoyed making it. So, if you like what you've seen here, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content like this. So, until next time, guys, I'll see you guys next time.